Um, good evening, and uh, if you have seen any of our other episodes, you might have seen uh, uh, Ms. Yokan testing, sampling yes. of Ms. Yokan. Today, we're going to be sampling Ponzu. Ponzu. Now, what, Kaz, can you tell them what the hell is Ponzu? Oh, how should I know? <laughs> Just joking, joking. It, it okay. sounds, it sounds like <laughs> a, a pond where you, 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 you throw in the... the in, in the fishing rod and out comes a whopping... No, it has nothing to do with it, but I'll be happy to tell you. Really. Okay, please tell okay, us. Okay, so ponza basically, it, it means citrus-flavored soy sauce and added with uh, bonito or fish broth, oh, sugar, I see, yeah. right? So basically four major ingredients. So soy sauce, citrus, uh, bonito or seafood broth and sugar. Bonito and seafood broth and you sugar. You can make it at home if you want to, but most people, I'd say 99% of people in Japan, they don't make their own, so instead they buy. Now, I've got a very important question. Sure. Is this ponzu? Correct. Is it available all around the world? Okay. Uh, can people buy it? Certain around? parts of the country, yes. If you go to the Asian or Japanese selection or section of the supermarket, or you can go to Asian food store, you may. But too limited they only more likely they'll find only this type of thing you know i'm not here to smash this company but this is the one you can only buy and that would be rather cheap most probably very cheap but it's very expensive overseas though yes. but this is the cheapest one you can buy correct it, it is not so bad ah or is well, it well that's why uh, Maybe that's why we're going to test, we're it. Gonna test it okay yes. all right so, we, so first this mm. is the uh uh the the most inexpensive one most cheapest one and this one is the mid-range one now this one uh, is designed with tosa and shoga so gingery flavor and you said that very ginger first. tosa and shoga now tosa is an area yes of japan western japan in, in, right in shikoku, shikoku island. island shikoku island is famous for you know uh, like a ginger and garlic farms right so, and, and next to Kyushu, on the map, it's next yes, to Kyushu. Yeah, near, somewhere between, it's a sandwich between Honshu and Kyushu. This is a tiny island. Four countries, or Shikoku. Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. And then now, and then we have the uh, ponds that are made from organic. This is my favorite. Oh, but, but before you get to that one, I just have a quick question about this one. Okay. You know, Tosa area is an area in Japan. And this, doesn't this say Do? Do. I mean, Do desu ka? Correct. How is it? And this looks like this looks like uh, ginger. It's a slice ginger. And dough. Yes. Do you like our ginger? Is I that, would. I, I guess so. Is that what they're saying? They say they use golden uh, ginger and uh, yuzu citrus be used. Yeah, that's right. Yuzu and yuzu yes. juice is wonderful. Yuzu citrus it's from right Kochi. Yuzu from Kochi. Which is good, I think. Which is a place in Tosa. Yes. So there's, there's a kind of rhythm between Tosa and Do. Yes. Do, I, first of all... This I, is the uh, Dosari Ponzu. Dosari. That's, a, that's, that's the uh, brand name, I yep. guess. So, you know, you can see that brown. You can almost see that ginger in there. So ginger precipitates, yes. Yeah. V ginger precipitates. Yeah, that's that's the sign of real Ponzu, right? Yeah. So, I mean, this one is real. I mean, if it is full, you can see the uh, a tangy... Uh, uh, stuff you still can see it here yeah it's almost like residue a, like a watermark now that one is there any ginger in, thi ginger uh, this in one, there this one no mm. but the good thing is this particular one uh it's bought on hiroshima oh okay that's a good good one too so this one made from organic soy sauce organic uh, rice vinegar organic citrus fruits and the mirin which is sweet sake whoa mirin yeah, which is uh, very popular bonito in Japan. extract uh, uh, kombu kelp extract and a kombu is a kind of seaweed kelp. seaweed dish. northern japan hokkaido uh, one right kelp. and then a katsobushi that's a, a bonito flakes wow and then good sea salt but this is the most that's the this is my favorite one okay made with organic ingredients these two are not so the reason I, I support organic farming products because if you are eating non-organic veggies or fruits, uh, they only have 10% of the actual organic uh, nutritious values. That's why I support organic one. So what you're saying is that this one uh, has a 
a full organic woomph, if you like. Yes. But this one is a little bit cheaper, but sold prolifically, especially in... Tasting-wise, I'm sure... Uh, it tastes pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's going to taste very good. Yes. But of course, you know, it's not just about taste, but a lot of it's about taste. And the this one is... gingers uh, spray, uh, pre-harvesting spray, because, uh, because there's so many nematodes can be found in the ginger, uh, right? That's why organic farming ginger, it's not an easy task. And so You're this, lucky enough to find it. I did ask the guy in my sort of primitive middle-level Japanese today, Fine. is this organic? And he had no bloody idea what I was talking about. And... Uh, he, he, doesn't he, want did, to ask he didn't want to answer that question. No, it's just Nishi Nihon and you're in Tokyo. Don't you want to buy it? Of course I want to buy it because it tastes good, but will it do any damage at all, this one? Well, I don't know until I eat it. Because anything that not using organic one, we don't know how many amounts of pesticides have been sprayed prior to make this final product. That's mm. my question. Mm. But you do your research. Not, I'm not here to... Uh, demean or diminish any of these three bottles of, uh, uh, you know, uh, organic, I mean, uh, uh, pond of sauce, okay? But this one definitely is a no-no sign. Yeah, amino acid, we don't know where the amino acid comes from. And also, uh, high fructose corn syrups, those are bad because most of them are made from uh, GMO corn to make a fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm. And so, as you can see from this one, uh, most of the ponzu has already gone. Yes, that means because it's, it's popular with him. Yes, and, I've been uh, drinking like a water. Huh? And uh, we had run out of our particular bottle of the same one. So now the I went. To, I, I thought here. I thought I'd quickly go to the supermarket to so, see if I could the find relief pictures here. Yeah, the relief right. picture, which you know, my wife says it tastes pretty good and it's quite good. So. If you can get this one, it's not totally organic, but at least all that good ginger is in there. Yes. But however, this one, you know, this is, you only get this if you can't get the other yes. two. All right. So now the moment of truth. Moment so of truth. We is have happening. three plates of tuna. Can you lift it? Here is the other. The all right. Three so, plates of tuna. So first, we're going to use the regular, uh, most commonly found one. Okay. So I'm going to drop And this there's one. no ginger in this one. No. Uh, it's a. And uh, don't give me too much of it. Uh, just <sighs> educational purpose. Uh, okay, here we go. Thank you very much. All right. And then we're going to show We're going to try it together. Uh, show my chopstick skills again. Yeah, the... Trying to get into there. Rub it in there. Okay. One, two, three. Cheers. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Cheers. Well, some, some taste of something. I'm not, sure I, I'm not sure I can taste anything. I mean, I taste the tuna, but not the... Uh, I can't taste I any. Only, I don't taste the soy sauce ness. Can't taste any. No. Ponzu at all. Not at all here. Let Probably because I've been spoiled by this. I've been. Yeah, now that this is actually quite a good thing to do. Mm. Instead of wasting that ponzu on the plate, but actually what he's taken is the ponzu from yeah. the bad plate. He's, yeah. he's always doing that. If it's the good ponzu, the organic ponzu, you shouldn't waste it. And right. licking it off the plate is actually a good thing. You know, <laughs> and even my wife yes. agrees that, you know, I said, well, maybe I said before the video, uh, he pours too much. Yes, mm, you smell the ginger. You can a whiff of ginger. All right. So now number two, this one. Number two. Here we go. Let's see how the ginger boy goes. I think okay. I too much, one, two, three. You can have the bigger piece. Thank you. Are you ready to go? You can smell the ginger. That's the nice part about it. Oh, well, I love that. And, and, you know, we don't often actually get this one because it is from Nishi Nihon. Yeah, Western Japan. Which is, you know... Those of you traveling to, you know, Nishi Nihon, go for it, I guess. Mm. You know, I'm not really a huge fan of ginger, but it's quite good, isn't it? Tastes like a pickled ginger, not fresh ginger. You think so? You know. We better try one more piece just to... To uh, double check. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, here. Let's take another piece. Another piece to double check. Yeah, I'm not really sure that. I mean, this is from Nishi Nihon, and we bought it in Tokyo. Kinda, to me, and uh, kind of disappointed. Know, yeah, it's I mean, a bit better a than the first one we had, but mm. the kind of money that we spent, kind of disappointing. Ginger is killing the uh, the soy sauce and citrus. 
Yeah, it's just gin I can taste the ginger. It's um, like drinking a pickle ginger from Sushi Bar. I tend to agree with you. Yeah, it's just it's right. just it's just like taking a dollop of ginger. It's over ginger pickled mm. ginger is over killing the ingredients itself. It might Maybe be hiding. Mm. I don't know. And I'm sure that the people of Shikoku would say, well, ginger is very healthy for you, but well, this is supposed to be pond sauce. Yes, not ginger not, sauce. Not ginger flavor only. Now, now we are coming to organic one. the moment, moment of truth. Yes. As we put that on there. Now, you notice the color is rather black. Yes. Compared to a brownie. Uh, but, All right. Okay, let's try that. Let's okay. try that. Oh, dear. Hope we're not going to have a dropping. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh, it's very rich. Better try another piece quick. Let's do it. Get another piece, put one for All you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, maybe put two each. Yeah. All right. This is the recommended one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to put a bit more of that ponzo on there? Why it's not? Really, Why not? Really quite nice. I know you're near the end of the bottle. I use this. I buy this every uh, two weeks. Okay. <laughs> I'm addicted to this. Yeah, it's a good stuff. When you got the really good stuff, you know it's good. You have ponzu. Yes. So if you can get the good ponzu, the organic one, go for it. Yes. And we're going for it right now. Mmm. See, it's silky. Mmm. I don't know how to describe that, but I taste the sweetness not from the sugar, from mm. the soy, and the mm -hmm. the tanginess. Yeah. Perfectly balanced. In my humble opinion, mm. what do you say? There's a lot, there is a tangy, there is a tangy taste, there is a balance. Yeah. Here, yeah. Take, finish that up. Okay, so. there we go, put it down there. And then, you know, after I've had this, it is important. It's, it's not really accustomed to lick the plate, but I, I really it. think you should because the, all the goodness is in there. And, you, you don't know, want to waste it. My missus says that you should lick the plate, but I'm gonna leave that to him. Okay, I'm instead. Uh, Why not? Mm. I mean, why waste something that's good? Why not just lick that, <laughs> lick that plate clean? And there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> just like that. Three, so, three types of So the verdict. Which one is the winner? Oh, shush, shush. Here. Well, there's only one choice for us. But this one came in a close second. Yeah, you I think can so. get, You know, I mean... It is ponzu, but we could taste mostly ginger. But nevertheless, it, it's much better flavoring than this one. I could hardly taste Amen. any flavoring at all. Yes. And then this one, the big winner. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's uh, nice, perfectly balanced. Mm. Yeah. But I'm not saying the middle one is bad, too. You know, it's just our, I guess, taste. But, you know, a matter of taste, you know. That's it. Yeah. So we just leave it like that. And there you have it. Uh... Uh, three types of ponzu. There you go. 